Hi friends! Y'all might have noticed that there has been a lot of anxiety this week while we've been waiting for election results. It's been kind of hard for me to wait, and I bet it's been the same for you. It's hard to sit in uncertainty, especially when there's so much at stake. But no matter what the outcome is, we have a whole lot of work to do on the other side of this election. You see, the election is just one part of the really big systems that are needed to make change. Really, it's just the tip of the iceberg. Now, even the tip of an iceberg can look pretty big, but even so, the bulk of it is underwater and we can't see that part at all. Justice work is like that. Sometimes all we see on the news are the big things the elections, the Supreme Court cases, the protests, and those things are so important. And there's a lot more to it. Just ask Ella Baker. Ella Baker is known as the mother of the civil rights movement, but you might not have heard of her before. To be honest, I hadn't heard much about her until recently. Even though Baker worked with and mentored many leaders and emerging leaders of the civil rights movement, including W.E.B. Du Bois, Martin Luther King Jr., Diane Nash, and Rosa Parks, she was mostly a behind-the-scenes grassroots organizer. Grassroots organizing is that bottom-of-the-iceberg stuff that makes the big stuff happen, even though we might not always see it. It's when individual people like you and me get together in our communities and work together to create change. Ella Baker believed that the strength of a movement or an organization came from the bottom up, from its roots. She worked for over 50 years organizing with movements such as the Southern Christian Leadership Conference and the NAACP. Baker did a lot of work for voter mobilization including the SCLC's Crusade for Citizenship and Freedom Summer campaigns, and she founded the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. Even though she did so much critical work, Baker stayed mostly behind the scenes. She advocated for participatory democracy, which focuses on decentering traditional hierarchies. That means like a power structure or a leadership structure. Um, traditional hierarchies of leadership and putting more power in the hands of local people. Baker asserted that most people needed organization and empowerment, saying, my theory is strong people don't need strong leaders. As an organizer and mentor to many movement leaders, Baker believed in the power of individuals and worked to empower them. Of her work, she said, the major job was getting people to understand that they had something within their power that they could use and it could be and it could only be used if they understood what was happening and how group action could counter violence even though we're just now at the tip of the iceberg and we have a lot of work to do we also have that incredible power within us as Mary Oliver said, whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination. So, whoever you are, no matter what lies ahead, allow your imagination to wander to the furthest reaches of the world we dream about, and then let's get to work on building it.